Bye, happy hump day. So as you can see from the weigh-in this morning, I'm down 1.6 pounds today. I think that's more than just a coincidence. The fact that, you know, I cut off all of my supplements, suspecting water weight and changed nothing else. And then all of a sudden I have this big correction. Could be freak coincidence, timing, I don't know. But I tend to think not. I'm pretty sure my body was holding excess water and I flushed it out. Today's gonna to be another chest, shoulders, triceps workout. Today I'm only drinking water, did not take any pre-workout supplements, just had the Quest Bar as like a pre-workout meal. Today's the first, I guess, full day of no supplements. I'm still pushing hard. Uh, focusing this week really on the diet bets. That's my main focus. Last week I said that I might mix things up and, you know, try a different split or some different exercises. Um, I didn't get around to doing that. And also, even if I did, I think I would still stick with my current program because um, I know that I can work out straight for an hour and focusing on the diet bets, I think that's going to give me the biggest calorie burn. So I'll probably target next week to uh, switch things up. did uh, a couple drop sets um, on uh, the upright rows and also that last set of um, machine uh, bench I was able to squeeze that in um, dumbbell presses I went down in weight just because uh, my shoulder is still a little sore and I didn't want to push it that that movement it, it just it feels like my shoulders like you know weak in that area so I want to get back to doing my shoulder exercises, maybe every day if I can. With my weight loss this morning, I don't think the diet bet is in as much jeopardy, you know, as I thought it was this time yesterday. So I am gonna keep doing uh, whey protein um, and stay off the rest of the supplements until next week. I saw there were a couple of comments uh, from yesterday's video specifically related to uh, using multivitamins and fish oil, especially. So I thought I'd post a quick video showing which supplements I'm stopping for this week and then which supplements I'm going to continue using. Okay, so these are the supplements that I'm not going to be using this week. First is uh, glutamine powder. I put this in my uh, post-workout um, protein shake. I always feel a little bit better, I believe, and I've used this in the past with success. Uh, I'm just going to take a break from it for this week. Branch chain amino acids. I don't think there's really any harm if I were to continue using this. Um, again, I'm just going to give myself a break this week, uh, so I won't be taking that. And my pre-workouts, um, C4 is what I've been currently using. Uh, that's almost empty. I'm going to be using Outlift next, but um, again, not for this week. And I almost forgot uh, my HMB. This came in like a Ziploc bag, but I couldn't get the bag reclosed, so I just put it into one of these containers. 
but I'm not going to be taking uh, HMB. This week, I'll probably start it back up next week. Now for the supplements that I'm going to continue to use, uh, whey protein, as I mentioned earlier today, and I did take this today as a uh, post-workout, and the casein protein, this is a slow-burning protein. I usually take this uh, at night before bed. Fish oil, I've taken this for a long time, and I'm going to continue taking this. Vitamin C, I've been supplementing with vitamin C for quite a long time. I think I only have one left in there. Got to buy some more. Uh, fiber, I love these uh, fiber gummies. Uh, kind of just like an extra little treat, but it's a good way to get extra fiber. And my multivitamin. So I'm going to be taking all of these still. In fact, if Thursday, Friday, Saturday rolls around and I'm ahead of my diet bet weigh-in, I may go back to using the pre-workout, um, and the glutamine, probably everything except the HMB. I'll start that up next week.